Hello everyone, it's Than from Tidal Gardens again, and today we're going to do a quick propagation tutorial of a trendy newcomer, well, at least at the time of this recording, the ever colorful mini maxi carpet anemone from Vietnam. The first time I saw these guys was at a trade show in 2010, and I remember thinking, wow, what cool mushrooms! And I was quickly corrected that they were in fact not mushrooms, but a very small carpet anemone. After having them now for a few months, I kind of wish they were mushrooms because there are a couple issues with keeping anemones. The big issue is anemones like to move, and sometimes they move a lot. So for someone like myself that tries to keep inventory, it's hard to find a specific individual after a week or so. But getting back to the propagation of these anemones, um, that reveals the second issue. They are so hard to dislodge once they decide to stick. The worst thing you can do to an anemone is damage its foot trying to dislodge it. It's kind of ironic that we have to be so careful with them at this stage only to chop them up at a later step. True story. And finally we have one, and in real time that actually took right around 5 minutes. So I have three now ready for propagation, and from what I understand, they can be cut basically once a month, I think. The next step before we get cutting is to prepare a disinfectant bath, and what we like to use is some iodine. What I use to propagate these anemones is a razor blade, and any sharp blade would work, so scalpels are also an excellent choice. Um, kind of off topic, but what I think would be the best is a sashimi knife. And it's total overkill, but really I think that would just be perfect. I don't know if you guys are into sushi or sashimi, but um, the way that the chefs get such a perfect slice is to use a 10 inch blade in one clean stroke. So you don't run into what I'm doing here, which is basically causing a huge mess. After that little hack fest, I place them in the disinfectant solution for a few minutes, and then place them back into the tank. They seem to recover from this procedure in about a week, and are fully healed in about three weeks, so I imagine this process can be replicated every month or so. So that's it. I hope you guys liked the tutorial, and um, if you're on Facebook, be sure to join us there. I've included a link in the description.